and let's talk about problems. If my only problems were a bad fuel pump and a broken air conditioner, I would have been okay. But it's been much more than that. Every member of the boat rescue teams had car problems. One Sonoma required a fuel pump, the AC switch for the high pressure sensor went out. We had to replace the proportioning valve three times. The other Sonoma had a double card and U joint failure. The Tahoe, which we normally call the fire truck, that's our heavy tow vehicle. That blew out the brake line from the master cylinder to the rear axle. The fuel pump in my other Taurus is acting up. Our internet access went out. The F-150 blew a tire. And towards the end of all of these problems stacking up, the hot water heater where I store my model trains broke open and flooded that basement with hot water. And when you fill a basement full of hot water, first thing that happens is you start getting mold. And to go along with that, the cat. The cat got really sick, that stray cat. And I feel bad about that because in the last episode, my 100th video, I called her a loafer for laying around in the yard instead of being out there killing mice. But it turned out she had a very serious infection in her uterus and her abdomen blew up and she couldn't eat and we took her to the animal hospital and they said she's either going to need really expensive surgery or you need to put her to sleep. So we did what any insane person would do. We put off our retirement for a couple of months and we paid to have the surgery done. They shaved her front legs like poodle legs so they could put in the IV and they slit her abdomen open from stem to stern. And it's been about two weeks now she's been in the house recovering. She came outside to the garden today for about 15 minutes and begged to go back in the house the whole time. So she's recovering, she's healthy, and she looks good, but she might not be on TV for a while. So when you have a lot of problems like that, they stack on top of each other, stacked problems, you have to triage and take care of the most important ones first. The hot water heater and the cat surgery, those both happened on the same day and those were both emergencies. So we dealt with those first, but other problems have been stacking up and now we got to dig backwards through those problems. And I'll have some videos on some of that stuff as we go along. I mentioned before in August we had a lot of rain and the last week in August and the first few weeks in September were very humid. It ran 80-85% humidity day after day. All of my tomato plants got diseased and died off. So I'm converting over to my fall garden and I put in a new lettuce variety. This is called Red Sales that I got from Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. The seeds germinated in two to three days. The plants grew fast and they looked great until I put them out in the garden and after a few days the slugs came in and just started devastating the plants. I only planted half a square. I have more plants that I can replace some of the ones that are completely dead. But I did have to do something. At first I thought it was rabbits. So I put the rabbit cage over the plants to keep the rabbits out and that didn't make any difference and I started digging around the garden and I found slugs. So I've eradicated all the slugs. Well, I play a new game now called Slug Toss. I pick them up and throw them out into the parkland as far as I can. Slug Toss for distance. Uh, and I came around with espresso and sprinkled that around the plants. I've seen on the internet that you can use coffee grounds to deter slugs, so we'll see if that works. Uh, the plants look a lot better today than they did yesterday, so maybe it's having an effect. If you look here, you can see the kind of leaf damage. 
the plants do appear to be growing some new leaves, so hopefully they will recover. So I'm digging through my stack of problems, but occasionally you find a problem. It's really more than one problem. I call those nested problems. As you dig into one problem and you fix that problem, you realize there's more than one problem. And that's what happened with my air conditioning system. Spoiler alert, changing the batteries fixed the thermostat, but it didn't make cold air. And with nested problems, you have to be careful about mission creep, where you find a problem, and that leads to another problem, and that leads to some things that aren't actually problems right now, but are going to become problems, and then you end up looking at the difference between maintenance, repairs, and restoration, and that's a discussion for another time. But you do have to be careful about mission creep, or all you'll do is diagnose problems and you'll never actually get any work done. And then you've got self-induced problems. Like when you cross-thread a bolt on a piece of machinery you're putting together, or you over-tighten one and shear it off. And there's always the risk that something you can't fix will make you so angry that you just smash it up and you regret that later. All of those self-induced problems, those are to be avoided. So triage your stacked problems. Avoid mission creep on your nested problems. And to avoid self-induced problems, be careful and patient, and when you're in over your head, don't be afraid to call for help from someone who knows how to do what you're trying to do. Someone who's done it before and who's willing to share their knowledge, tools, and expertise. So that's the way it is with problems. They start to stack up, and as my brother says, the hits just keep on coming. You have to triage the problems, work through the nested problems you find as you're making fixes, and the most important thing of all is to just stay motivated and keep working because it's easy to let those problems stack up to the point where you just feel like you can't do anything at all. But if you break the problems down into simple steps and you attack them one at a time, you'll make progress. Now let me get the rabbit cage back on these lettuce plants and hopefully that will be enough to get these to grow out. Now turn off YouTube and get outside and make some stuff grow.